ready for this, open up your head. The brother has written 66 books. His name is Professor Molefe Asate. William Penn, some of you know it, some of you don't. But in the city of Lamont, in the Camp William Penn, was a place where African men and women were trained to go and fight against the Confederacy. And when they went, they were not American citizens. They were African people. They were people whose consciousness was clear. And in fact, earlier, when Richard Allen started the AME Church, it was the African Methodist Church. He was clear in his mind. I am here to tell you that our children, one of the problems that we confront is that no longer are they clear in their identity. And one of the things that we have to do is to go back and deal with our children at a level where they can understand that the crisis that we are going through is not just simply a crisis of homicide. It is a crisis of suicide. It's a crisis of suicide because they have started to destruct and destroy often themselves. This is what it is. If you don't like being African, then you don't like other Africans. If you have nothing to do with Africa, then you will do anything to Africa. So the idea is that if we see our young people engaged in this struggle, it is a struggle against themselves because of this self-hatred. Therefore, it behooves us to be involved with institutions and centers and community centers, churches and mosques that will train and re-educate our young people to see themselves as the descendants of those who created the pyramids, as the descendants of those who created the great Zimbabwe, as those who gave the world first geometry, mathematics, astronomy, law, politics, and even religion. Because what happened when we got here after 1865, when we came out of our our bondage of 246 years, we felt the sense of freedom, but our minds were still enslaved. There was no mental therapy. Nobody gave us therapy. There was no collective therapy for people who had gone through bondage for so long. And because there was no collective therapy, we sometimes fall back into that self-hatred mode. And that's why we've got to tackle it at that level. And then we'll be able to understand truly what our mothers and fathers declared when they heard James Weldon Johnson stoning the road we trod, bitter the chastening rod felt in the days when hope unborn had died. Yet with a steady beat have not our weary feet come to the place for which our parents sighed. We have come over a way that with tears have been watered. We have come treading our path out of the bloody slaughter until now we stand at last where the white gleam of our bright star is cast. Up, up, you mighty men. We can accomplish what we must. Philadelphia. Mighty 